Hi everyone, I'm Shade Review from YouTube and Randolph asked me to create a video on how to choose the best size sunglasses for your face. Randolph's classic aviators and Concords come in three different sizes to fit all face sizes and head shapes. Many other Randolph styles come in multiple sizes, so let's make sure you choose the frame that'll fit you. The easiest thing to do to find your perfect size is to look at an old pair of sunglasses that fit your face shape well. The frame sizing is typically noted on either of the inside temples of the sunglasses. The eye or lens size is typically going to be first, then the bridge size, and then the temple size. If the eye size is not indicated on the temple, usually look under the bridge, it might be under there instead. So if you can find your measurement, usually go with the closest measurement to what matches the pair of sunglasses that already fit your face well. Okay, so if you don't have another pair of frames to use, you're going to need to use a standard straight ruler to measure your face and a mirror or a friend to make sure that you're measuring accurately. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is hold a ruler horizontally across your face. And what you're going to do is you're going to measure the distance between your left and right temples of the face. Once you have that measurement, for me, it's going to be 5.5 inches or 140 millimeters. Use the chart on RandolphUSA.com and that will tell you the lens size is best for you. The bridge size on Randolph frames remains the same on every size, so don't worry about that changing. The size measurement only refers to the eye or lens size. I measure approximately 5.5 inches, and the Randolph size guide tells me that I should wear approximately a 57 millimeter frame. In Randolph Engineering Aviators, I'm going to wear a medium 55 millimeter frame. Now, as far as my size in the Concords, again, I'm going to fit good in the medium frame, and these are going to have 57 millimeter lenses. So this is what these are going to look like. Now, just for comparison, let's see how I look in the smaller 52 millimeter aviators. And now let's pop on the larger 58 millimeters, just so you guys can get a good look of what the size difference is going to be across all the aviator styles. And here's a quick look at what the smaller 52 millimeter Concords are going to look like. And now let's pop on the larger 61 millimeter Concords. What size you choose is completely up to you. These are the guidelines and not the rules. But if you prefer a smaller frame, I would go a size down. And if you prefer the larger look, I would go a size up. But generally the suggested size is going to fit you best. Another thing to consider is going to be the shape and details of the frame. So here in the Randolph P3s, I'm actually going to wear 49 millimeter lenses, but the round shape fits my face differently than something like the Aviator 2s. So in the Aviator 2s, I'm going to wear 55 millimeters and the brow bar is going to make them look a little bit different than the flagship aviator style. Have fun finding your perfect new frames and if you can't decide which Randolph style to choose, take the frame quiz on the frame size guidelines page at RandolphUSA.com or give Randolph a call at 800-541-1405.